Earth, the only planet known to maintain life, a product of scientific phenomena and sheer chance, this blue speck in space holds the past, present, and future of our very existence. Approximately 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth formed from particles left over from the creation of our Sun. Gravity drew these particles together to form pebbles, which then formed boulders and eventually the Earth. At its heart is a solid inner core covered by a liquid outer core. Above this sits the mantle made of flowing silicate rocks and a rocky crust. This rocky mass is the third planet from the Sun, orbiting the star from an average distance of about 93 million miles. It's close enough to the sun to be warm, unlike the cold gas giants, but not so close that its surface is exposed to extreme heat and solar radiation, as is the case with Mercury. Earth's unique position in the solar system allows it to house phenomena yet to be found anywhere else in the universe, particularly liquid surface water and life. According to one theory, much of Earth's water is as old as its rocks, both of which having formed during the Earth's earliest days. Because of Earth's unique distance from the Sun, the planet is able to contain water in all of its forms, liquid, ice, and gas, rather than have them permanently frozen or evaporated into space. But Earth is the only known place in the universe with liquid water on the surface thereby having unique cascading effects on the planet. It hydrates the land, helping create nutrient-rich soil. It collects and pools to form oceans and freshwater systems. And it cycles upward to add moisture to Earth's protective atmosphere. And where there is liquid water, there is life. From the Aleutian Islands to the Isthmus of Panama, North America is made up of 23 countries and is the third largest continent in the world. There are huge mountain ranges in the West, including the Rocky Mountains in the United States and the Sierra Madre mountain range in Mexico. In the middle of the continent, you'll find the Great Plains of the United States and Canada. These grasslands make up the largest biome in North America. Further north, you'll find the Canadian Shield, a hilly region of lakes and swamps that stretches across northern Canada with rocks that are one billion years old. The eastern regions of North America contain everything from mountains to wetlands, including the Florida Everglades, a diverse ecosystem, home to over 20 rare, endangered, and threatened species. And if you're looking for fun in the sun, head to the Caribbean, home to islands, islets, reefs, and caves with more than 44 million people. Even further south is Central America, which has some of the most beautiful rainforests and exotic animals, like the poison dart frog, ocelot, tapir, capuchin monkey, and jaguar. With so many diverse ecosystems, there are a variety of animals that live throughout North America. Bison, scorpions, pronghorn, armadillos, groundhogs, crocodiles, black bears, great white sharks, and the American bald eagle. The first North Americans are believed to have migrated from Northeast Asia. Today, there are more than 360 million people living in 23 different countries. The most populated metropolitan area in North America is Mexico City, home to over 21 million people. Death Valley in the United States is North America's hottest, driest, and lowest point. It's 282 feet below sea level, has a record high 134 degrees Fahrenheit, and gets fewer than 5 centimeters of rain a year. 
If the Death Valley is too dry for you, then check out Lake Superior in Michigan. It's the world's largest freshwater lake. There are so many awesome places to visit in North America, like the Grand Canyon in the United States, Chichen Itza in Mexico, and Niagara Falls in Canada and the United States. With environments and wildlife as diverse as its population, there's no place quite as unique as North America. So, Fernando, can you explain why this country makes you so hungry? Well, Mexican cuisine consists of a variety of interesting flavors and it's the birthplace of all kinds of delicious foods, from tacos and burritos to churros and empanadas. Wow, you weren't kidding. Mexico is also known for its love of soccer, but they actually call it football. Mexico has even hosted the FIFA World Cup on two separate occasions. That's pretty cool. You know what else is cool? La tierra, which means the land in Spanish. Mexico is home to one of the most unique agricultural systems on earth and they have their ancestors to thank for it. You see, early indigenous people and even the Aztec Empire use a system of canals to feed water to different parts of the country. These water lanes turn Mexico into one of the most fertile places on the planet. They have been used to feed people and transport goods for centuries. Wow, sounds like Mexico is full of history. It sure is! Mexico can trace its roots back to thousands of years, starting with the Olmec people who first appeared in 12,000 BC. From there, the region hosted a number of impressive ancient societies, from the Mayans to the Aztecs. In fact, the Mayan ruins of Chichen Itza still stand to this day and are now considered one of the seven wonders of the world. Food, soccer and loads of history? What more do you need? located in the very heart of Mexico, with easy access from the capital, Mexico City, about 40 miles away. Mining has been the backbone of Hidalgo's economic history since the Spaniards arrived in the 16th century, unleashing a flurry of mining activity in the area, especially for silver. Today, 6% of the world's silver is from Hidalgo. This museum houses one of the world's largest photography collections. It goes back 160 years and includes shots of some of the main moments of the Mexican Revolution and other social and political events during the first half of the last century. This magnificent Baroque building dates back to the 17th century and is a fine example of the architectural legacy of the Spanish monks who converted the Mexicans to Christianity. Hidalgo's mineral wealth, along with its traditional production in pulque, a drink made from fermented cactus, gave rise to a number of haciendas as centers for these activities. In fact, no other state in Mexico has more haciendas than Hidalgo. Two of the finest examples are the Hacienda of San Miguel Regla and the Hacienda of Santa Maria Regla. Blended buildings today offer an insight into the sumptuous lives of the landed aristocracy in the state and are often set against a background of stunning scenery. This delicious contribution of the English miners to local cuisine is a pie filled with minced beef and vegetables and is typical of the country of Cornwall in southwest England. This village, once the hub of the mining industry, offers some of the finest colonial architecture in the area. Huichapan is where you can find one of Hidalgo's best-known spas. Huichapan is where Mexican independence was first proclaimed after the successful campaign to free the country of Spanish rule.
One of the country's most magnificent buildings, it once covered an area of over 12 acres. Its thick walls, battlements, turrets, the great double arched doorway, and its huge 125 foot tower give this monastic center a vastly imposing presence. The temples and monasteries sprinkled all over Hidalgo are a solid testimony to the process by which millions of people were converted to Christianity by the various monastic orders from Spain. Tula was the legendary capital of the Toltec Empire founded in the 9th century AD by the mythical figure of Quetzalcoatl. The most important finding at Tula, however, were some huge statues of warriors, almost 16 and a half feet tall, known as the Atlantes. These figures are perhaps the most imposing legacy of the Toltec civilization and one of the main symbols of the state of Hidalgo. Hidalgo has no fewer than 176 haciendas of great historical value. The oldest of these can be found here in the highlands. The bright colors of this majestic building will whisk you away to a world of opulence and luxury. This is one of the oldest haciendas in the country, known to have existed as early as 1535. Visit Atan, one of the oldest villages in the area, dating back to way before the arrival of the Spaniards. The local cuisine is as varied as it is rich, offering a mouth-watering selection of beef, chicken, lamb and rabbit dishes prepared with a range of different sauces as well as the local trout.